Welcome back. This is Jack. You are maidenless. Ow! That was rude. You didn't need to bring that up. In Elden Ring, there is a bit of a mystery that no one really talks about. In fact, I've yet to see any lore master point it out. Why was our character resurrected? Now, we take it for granted because of like Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, and Bloodborne. We are just this nameless nobody who got wrapped into it. We are the chosen undead and this, that, yeah. Okay, hang on a sec. Elden Ring has a lot more narrative to it than the other games. It feels like our character is more tied to the plot than we think. Now, we are resurrected by Merrick at the beginning. We're also chosen by Torrent. Something's weird there. Because look at who else got resurrected. You have Hora Lu, who all turns out to be Godfrey, Merica's ex-husband. A whole lot of weird baggage there I don't even get into. Gideon Offnir, the all-knowing. Um, then you also have Dunginer. No idea why she chose him. And there's like a handful of others. They all get resurrected. These are people with names and reputations that have been known to do things. And she brings them back. But why does she bring us back? Why does Torrent choose us? And the only thing I can come back to is we are the resurrected soul of Godwin. Now, let me explain Godwin to you. On the, on the night he was killed, which started all of this, he was killed um, by the Black Knife assassins. His soul was killed, not his body, his soul, because Ronnie's body was killed instead. That's why she's in a puppet. That was the whole thing. She wanted to fake her death and she needed to destroy a soul at the same time just because she didn't want to destroy her own. So that's why Godwin died. Also, I'm pretty sure there's like some other mysteries in there. No idea. So the, the Godwin we see in the in the game, that's just his body still alive, just with no soul. So it is possible, unless I'm completely crazy, that his soul was reincarnated into us. It would explain why our character was able to do something no one else had done before. Beat a rune bearer. Beat all of the rune bearers. Like stuff like that. It, it, it just feels like it makes sense to me. But once again, I haven't actually found any lore that backs it up. It's just weird speculation on my part. And it's my official headcanon. But if you find anything that like supports me, I would love that. Comment section down below. If nothing else, see you on the next one.